Today we're going to look at how to use import XML in Google Sheets to pull data in from other websites. One caveat before we start is that many websites now this will not work on due to anti-scraping measures and or the fact that a lot of websites that are actually dynamically generated by JavaScript. And so this does not work on those. And so if you're having issues, that may be the case. The other thing to keep in mind is the syntax we're going to use can be a little confusing. And so that may be one thing that may be resulting in issues. But we're gonna give you kind of a quick tutorial of how to do this, and then you can chase this down on your own as far as learning more syntax. So we're going to look at this moon landing website on Wikipedia. And so we're gonna look at a couple different ways of grabbing data from here. And then we're gonna show you real quick this XPath syntax on W3 schools that walks you through how to select nodes. And basically what we're doing is we have a kind of path that we're trying to chase down and get the result that we're looking for. And so you can run through this XPath tutorial on W3 schools if this is something you're gonna need and this will help you get you on your way. So first off, we're just gonna grab the URL from the Moo Landing website. We'll go ahead and start our formula, throw in our URL, and then we can do what's called our XPath query. And so for something very basic to start with, let's just grab our H2 HTML elements. And so what this is doing, if you look down through here, it is grabbing all of our elements so here we can see our HTML. So it's grabbing our elements that have an H2 tag. So for example, this one, we can see our uncrewed landings. We scroll down, you can right click on one of these, hit inspect, and you can see this is inside of H2. So if you don't have this right now, you can close this. If you right click and do inspect on Chrome, it'll bring this up and you just wanna be looking at your elements. And so this is potentially a way you can grab some specific data. Keep in mind, however, that sometimes this will get blocked from referencing directly. So this is one way to pull in data is you can use this two forward slashes and then the element, the type of element that you want to pull. So for example, we could find out if we have any H1 elements. So it looks like moon landing is our H1. And let's see if we have any H3. So it looks like our subtitles are H3 elements. One thing you can do is you can select all your A tags, which is your links. and gives you the link text. Or if we go down to here, we can see if we select this at, we can drill down. And so we can do at href. after we put in another forward slash. So this gives us the actual link. So these ones, for example, this pound sign, that's a on-page link. And then this is a cross-reference to another on the same domain. You can see here, here's an outside reference, another outside reference, and so forth. All right, so let's see if we can get a particular piece of data because that's often what people want to do and this again is something that can get a little messy as you may not always be able to scrape the part you want so what i usually do here is right click on your element so if you inspect it'll bring your cursor to the right element and then I right click hit copy and full xml path you can try copy xpath sometimes you have to go between these two to get the right one we're just going to try this full X path and see if that gets us there. So again, this will need to go inside our double quotes. And let's see if this works. So it looks like it does. Let's see if we can get another one here. Scientific background. And let's go ahead and just drag this down. And do our new tag. And there we go. So that is a way that we can get a direct piece of info from our target website. So that will do it for today. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to start 
diving into getting data from a website and tune back again soon for more videos.